What is up, Flock? Phoenix Fella here. Welcome back to Me Familia. No, welcome back to another Farming Sim 22 uh, Phoenix moment. This is where we talked about everything in last week. Everything's going to happen this week. And show them what a crazy week it was last week. And I have a perfectly reasonable explanation. Um, but before we get to last week, we got to stop. 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 It's, it's going to be great. This is going to be good. Um, we gotta stop and thank our YouTube members. These guys who uh, every every month putting out putting out the the, the money to support the fifis, and I I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys know if, if anybody knows anything about uh, YouTube, you guys know January is the suckiest month to be a YouTuber, um, simply because. Uh, the ads revenue drops way down because nobody's buying ads because Christmas is over and and all that. So, uh, huge thanks to these guys to continue to support the channel in January. Much appreciate it. We have the Cat's Pajamas, Mr. Noah Twelve, Chevy Cooper, Keegan Epoco, James Tonic, JT Bathard Gaming, Dylan Rupert, Dustin Limke, and William Mayer. Mayer, sorry, not Mayer. Mayer. Thank you guys so very, very much for your continued support because it doesn't mean so much to me, especially in the month of January because January ad revenue sucks. I don't know where I'm going with this truck. Um, so, thank you guys so very much for your continued support. Alright, let's move on to last week and why last week was so crazy, hit and miss for me. And that's because, well, snow. Snow. Um, <laughs> just, just to put in perspective. Um, my my weather app was calling for four to eight inches, or no, maybe it was six to eight inches of snow. My wife's weather app was calling for six to ten inches of snow. Um, I think like the like um, local police departments were sharing predictions for the same uh, six to eight inches of snow. Uh, and then as I'm standing in line, because I stupidly went to a grocery store uh, the day before. Um, snow is supposed to hit because you know it's always nice to have a couple nights worth of dinner on hand just in case um uh i super went in there and the guy in front of me in line my other guy was crazy and every single line was full all the way back to the the aisleways uh, <laughs> the guy in front of me was like well my buddy at dell dot they said they're calling for 10 to 12 inches or you know 8 to 12 inches of snow and i was like okay just keep in mind that it is Sunday afternoon. Uh, it was like 65 degrees outside. I had my hoodie on and I was sweating my butt off. I'm like, ha, yeah, we ain't getting any snow. Uh, it, the ground's too warm. Nothing's going to stick, even if we do. You know, typical me. Um, and then, you know, what happens is we get a blast of freezing rain. Uh, and, it, like, when I clean out the car, there was like, a good like three fourths of an inch of, of ice just on top of the car like all over the car and I was like okay all right and then we get blasted by the snowstorm the second highest snowfall in the state of Delaware uh, we were only beat by one area that had like two inches more uh, we had 12.2 inches over a foot of snow just got dumped on us when the day before it was 65 and, and sunny so yeah I don't get it either. I don't, I, I don't get it either. Uh, yeah, so, you know, and it happened from Sunday, like, Monday morning, Sunday night into Monday morning, all the way to Monday night. So, we didn't get, like, our roadways plowed until, like, Tuesday evening. Uh, I, I, I didn't even bother starting to shovel until Tuesday. Uh, and by Tuesday, um... Tuesday night, I was just so exhausted. I was so exhausted. Uh, I took, I took time. I didn't even bother doing anything Tuesday night. So Wednesday was just completely uh, off the cuff. And then, uh, well, then Wednesday, you know, when everything's getting back to normal, uh, the chaos happens again because they start calling for. What did I say? Why won't hold? They start calling for. Uh, how much snow was it? Uh, let's go this way. Never mind. 
they start calling for four to six inches. And I think they kind of overshot it because they got so wrong with uh, with the previous snowstorm. So I was like, great, another half a half a foot on on Friday, and like all the schools thought all the schools closed the night before and everything, and we end up getting maybe half an inch <laughs> on Friday. So yeah, uh, snow, just snow, it, it just just snow. Uh, all the kids had to do their their virtual learning again on Friday. They sent the laptops home and all this other good stuff, and it was just total chaos for for absolutely for for you know just a dusting of snow. Pretty much, there there wasn't much on the ground at all. It was practically all melted uh, by the afternoon. So yeah, snow. Um, I, I I saw something that was pretty awesome. Uh, he's actually a uh, he was he was the athletic director at my high school when I was there, uh, and he was a, I think he was a wrestling coach, uh, but he is now in he he works for the Kent County Eleven Court, um, and he posted something on Facebook that I I really agree with. Um, a lot of people will talk about how long it takes for you know us to get our roads plowed and everything, and he kind of broke it down. And said, you know, pretty much is we have floating deer. We have floating deer. Uh, other states who get a lot more snowstorms, like Pennsylvania, like New York, you know, definitely all up in in the northern area where um, they they see a lot of snow, like huge snowfalls. Uh, they are more equipped to handle those sort of snowfalls. Uh, they keep a steady fleet of snowplow trucks and everything. Whereas in Delaware, we don't have a ton of snowplow trucks. We keep what we need, and you know, because we don't ha- we don't get like a, a crap ton of snow, so they don't keep a bunch of snowplows ready throughout throughout the winter. They have plows that trucks that they're using for every other day, um, you know, processes. They keep the salters and the plows ready. But the trucks to go about their daily business. So when snow comes, they have to bring all those trucks back in and um, get them all hooked up and ready to go. And it takes a long time because we don't have a bunch of snowplow trucks. So uh, it takes a little bit longer for the back roads and everything to get clear, especially when there's significant snowfall. But that's because you know we don't have to, we don't pay the taxes that other states around us pay to keep a huge fleet of snow plow trucks. So, uh, I, I you know, catch a lot of flack for, you know, it t- taking them two days to get us done. And it's not even the state that's doing that. Our road gets plowed by the town and, um, our parking lot gets plowed by the landscaping company. But, uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, it took you that long to get your own put a snow and you're, you're out of the commission that well yeah well it's because we don't pay a crap ton of taxes to keep a huge snowplow fleet going anyway uh, I just thought I'd put that out there because I thought it was it, it was cool of him to actually sit down and and just kind of put it out there like hey quit complaining if you if you don't like it do something you know change it like move to a place that is closer to the city where you know most road more roads are more important and this other stuff why is that door open did i open the door i don't think i opened that door can i fit this in here i can park this right here i know this is dumb to bring this all the way up here but you know i did it i did it for the uh the video um Hmm. What does that need it to do? I don't know. Um. Anyway, uh, I guess we can talk about this week and hopefully I get like I said last week. It, it's it's a gift and a curse. Like it, you know. I I'm like, hey, yeah, we're gonna get the next week's gonna be back to normal because kids are going back to school and then they're home. They only went to school one one flipping day out of, out of last week um but hopefully uh we don't get hammered with snow again this week and kids actually go back to school and things can get a little bit back to normal for me uh when it comes to recording and uploading and all that 
all that jazz. So, uh, what you guys can expect this week, we wish much hit on that. Monday, Phoenix Woman, of course, it happens every Monday. If you don't watch these and you don't know what's uh, coming, and that's your fault. You should really watch these. They're very informative, so you guys uh, that would you know, want to know. I don't, I, you know. I don't even know why I say that, because, you know, I, I say in the beginning of every mod spotlight that you can find the mods linked in the description down below. And, well, people still, um, let's get that, where's the weed chart up at? I say in the beginning of every mod spotlight that, hey, y'all, it's mods can be found in the description. I still get comments at least uh, two a week. Where do, you, where do you get the mods at? I'm going to get in the description, like always. Anyway, uh, second video for today, I'm going to try to get a mod spotlight up. I don't know for certain if I'm going to have it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, doesn't look like... Did we plant 25 and something? No, it's cultivated. This hasn't it wasn't planned it. I guess I can oh wait. Okay. Um lost my train of thought. I'm gonna try to get a mod spot later today. I'm not making any guarantees, we'll see. Tuesday will be a I think I have one more police simulator video to do. Uh, so that would be up on Tuesday. Second video on that would be the lake. Uh, I think that one's already ready to go as well. Any weeds? Just 25. I guess I should go spray that. Uh, man, nothing's ready to harvest. I'm going to lose my mind sitting here looking at this. Um... Secondary video for Tuesday would be Lake. Wednesday will definitely be Mod Spotlight. If there's not one up on Monday, there will for sure be one up on Wednesday. Uh, second video will be a uh, Phoenix Plays. Not quite sure what game it will be of, but there will be a... Um, there will be a, for sure, a uh, Phoenix Plays of some kind. There we go. That's hot spots. Gross. There we go. Now that stuff's popping in. Heck yeah, fella. All right. I just drove my combine all the way up there. I guess I'm going to drive my combine back down. Uh, Thursday will be another uh, ready or not. I still have plenty of that recorded. I think I we just got... No, I don't even think we got through everything we recorded with PJs. I still think we have more to record or more recordings of that. And plus, I still have more recordings of myself, JT, and Tyler to post up. So th there's plenty of ready or not. I love that game. Having a lot of fun playing it. Uh, it could have gone 50-50 of what we streamed this past week, this past Saturday. Uh, Wreckfest or ready or not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm hoping for ready or not because I really don't want to play Wreckfest. Um, as far as... Um, Second video for Thursday it should be Emerging YC. I still have those to post up. I haven't, I haven't been doing. I got like two more Emerging YC videos to post up, and hopefully we record something else to post. Um, I know I still have like strand, not strand deep. Yeah, I still have strand deep. I still have um, fog or human fall flat to post. Good yeah, Lord, I got so much to post that I haven't posted yet. So maybe we'll do. Switch it up, do some strand deep with PJs, um, in place of what did I say? Emerging I don't know. We'll see. Friday, um, again, should be a mod spotlight. Not making any guarantees, but there should be one. Uh, as far as live streaming goes, you guys can expect the farming Friday on Friday for sure, and we're gonna switch it up for this Saturday because we had a. Um, a hard time figuring out what we want to do live stream wise on uh, last Saturday, this past Saturday. So um, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll put a, a poll on my community tab. Head on over there, vote for what you want. 
Uh, I think the options would be American Truck Simulator uh, 5PD, not not uh, 5M like you knew it. It would be 5PD with or it'd be 5M with 5PD, which is a sort of like a multiplayer version of LSPFR where you have AI calls, so we wouldn't have any um, really civilians running because that that was our main drawback. Everybody wants to be police so basically we'll turn it from you know people can be police and we'll just have 5 pd and people responding uh to those calls or and such and do that um five pd mag truck gta online is another option we we're, we're thinking about we want to do some gta online doing some races and stuff like that uh, and then the hunter on the new Mississippi map, that's another option. Um, and we'll, we can take suggestions. If you guys have suggestions, we'll, we'll, we can, I don't know if you can add a other and then you comment down below what you want. I can do it that way. I'll just put other and then you comment down below which one you want and see where it goes from there. That, that sounds good to me. But, uh, yeah, so Saturday, this, this coming Saturday, uh, will be up to you guys on what what you want us to play we'll take uh whatever wins the vote we'll uh, we'll play uh or you know we'll even and rec if rec if we play Wreckfest on saturday this past saturday then i won't add it into next saturday just just because you know um so yeah that that's all i got for you for the day that i know of if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like down below it does help me out so very very much and i do appreciate it so very very much if you guys do want to see future Farming 722 Phoenix moments. Be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.